Um, it makes it a fairly tiny Wikipedia in comparison to the number of people who speak the language. Um, and so it's one of our missions to really improve the amount of content that's available on the Arabic Wikipedia so that all of the people who speak Arabic have access to information in their native languages. So I want to talk about very briefly about the Wikipedia education program for those of you who may not be familiar with it. Um, the basic idea of it is pretty simple, um, kind of what David was saying as well. Teachers assign the students to edit Wikipedia as part of a class assignment. Um, and then volunteers from our community support these students as Wikipedia ambassadors, like Ayan Mohammed here, um, either in the class as campus ambassadors or online as online ambassadors. And this is a very important point here. Our goal of our program is to improve the quantity, quality, and diversity of Wikipedia articles. So we are not a program that's aimed specifically at editor retention, unlike most of the rest of the programs at the Wikimedia Foundation. Our focus is instead on content and increasing the quality, quantity, and diversity of content available on Wikipedia. So there's more than 45 programs worldwide. The Wikimedia Foundation runs currently um, a handful of them in the United States, Canada, and then our Arab World programs. Um, but the rest of all of the programs are run by volunteers or chapters who are making great strides globally. And the pilot that I'm talking about today is our Arabic Wikipedia pilot. It started in 2012 in Egypt at two universities, Ain Shams University and Cairo University, both of which are in Cairo. So let me just show you an example here of what the students are actually doing. So this is an article that a student worked on last term on Islamic art. So this is the version of the article before the student worked on it. And the aspect ratio on this is a little odd, but you can get the general idea here. The article is very short, just about one paragraph long, and you can't really see it, but there are four references there. There we go. So the, you can see there's the four references there. And then this is the version of the article after the student finished working on it. And this article, while it is loading, <laughs> is an article that students worked on doing a translation assignment. So a lot of the students in our program work on translating good articles or featured articles from uh, whatever language they're studying, so French or German or English, for example, <coughs> and taking a um, a good article from that language Wikipedia and translating it into the Arabic Wikipedia. So this is what the article on Islamic art looks like now. It has images, a lot of different sections, and I'm going to start scrolling quickly here because it's a quite extensive article. And when you reach the end here, you see that the citations number 96. So, so this is the kind of impact, you know, when we're talking about making changes to the Arabic Wikipedia and the content that's available, this is what we're talking about here. There are also very important articles. This is the page views for the, that particular Islamic art article. It gets around 200 page views a day, um, making it the 664th most trafficked article on the Arabic Wikipedia. So 
I am at an ambassador on the education program, and my main task in um, as an ambassador is to uh, make workshops uh, to the students to learn them everything about Wikipedia, how they can edit it, how can they create, um, how can they can create new articles, and this photo in uh, one of the workshops. <coughs> um, so I answer uh, all the students' questions, and we have. Um, we just don't create a Facebook uh, group uh, so we can uh, join all the students in the, this group and uh, uh, in this group uh, use, um, students put uh, in it all their questions and the ambassadors um, put the answers um, for these questions. Okay. So uh, we make uh, workshops uh, and the students um, first create uh, um, articles in their uh, sandbox um, on Wikipedia, and then after that, we um, transfer articles from the sandbox to the um, to the Wikipedia itself. So, um, and about the effect of the translation programs, uh, um, the effect of the education program on Wikipedia, it's very useful. It's uh, have been um, um, growth of uh, many articles on Arabic Wikipedia. And uh, many articles of the students are chosen as a featured articles uh, on uh, <coughs> So, so Mohammed mentioned that it's had a big impact on the Arabic Wikipedia. Let me let me get that in numbers here over the first three terms. So we've added 15.4 million bytes to the Arabic Wikipedia. Um, that's about the equivalent of 10 reams of paper if all of the content was printed out. So the amount of content that these students added have been adding to the Arabic Wikipedia is truly incredible. One of the other elements that the program has been working on is gender diversity, and Sue actually mentioned it in her question and answer session this morning, and she actually underestimated our percentage of students who are, are female in the Egypt program. We actually have 87% female participation in the Egypt program, and it's, a, it's one of our major efforts to change sort of the gender dynamics and also change the gendered content that's available on Wikipedia by actually going out and targeting these languages and arts classes, we're able to attract more female editors to the Arabic Wikipedia. And then I want to turn it over to Aya to talk a little bit about that experience. So the great thing about the education program is that it provides a framework in collaboration with the universities that allows the female students to talk to their parents and to their guardians and tell them that we would like to volunteer in a formal program in the Arabic Wikipedia. So usually families ask, let's say, their children, let's say, their, 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 the female students, to tell them what they're doing and how they're doing it, and because they would like to know the, de the details of the lives of, the, of, their, of their children. So, and since the <coughs> students would like to have a sense of accomplishment, this is provided in the education program because there are ceremonies to say celebrate the students and so they do the work. And as for the family, anything that is considered an accomplishment for the children is considered a, uh, a source of pride. As for the program itself, it helps to provide recognition for the female students, something that is very, very important in a society. Um, now, I will give three examples of, uh, say, uh, actually a teaching assistant who is now a, 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 an assistant lecturer. Okay, her name is Dawn Sifidi. Dawn started in the first uh, version of the program as a campus ambassador, and she was assisting her students in three different workshops. And in the second version of the, say, or the second installment of the program, she became an editor because she was interested in, say, volunteering with her own work. And now in the third version, she is a campus actually a uh, campus leader or faculty leader for the Alston or the languages faculty. The second example is for one of my students, actually her name is Helena. Helena was uh, actually an exceptional student in the first installment. Her <coughs> article was also featured in the first installment, let's say after her seven discussions, it was talking about the 2011 events in Egypt. And she turned to be a campus ambassador in the second installment and in the third version or the third installment, she became also a leader for the arts uh, faculty in Ancient Chance University. The last example I would like to talk about, this is a prominent example, is Wala, Wala <coughs> from Cairo University, where, Ahmed, uh, where Muhammad is, the, is teaching students. Wala, in the first uh, installment, was a, a student, and she also had featured articles. 
and in the second installment she became a campus ambassador and actually an admin in the society so she had a role in the in the wikipedia and the arabic wikipedia and also as the last two examples or the last two female examples she became a leader for the Kenya university arts faculty thank you So one of the other things is that we have been having an impact not just on the content on the Arabic Wikipedia, but also on the number of active editors. So during the term when the students are actively editing, the students are making up 10% of the active and very active editors on the Arabic Wikipedia, which is a pretty incredible number for a pilot program being only in its second and third terms. So let me talk a little bit about some of the lessons that we've learned from the Cairo pilot in case you're interested in starting an education program in your country or sort of expanding one you already have. Um, so the first one that I would emphasize is to start small. Um, we started with the two universities in Egypt and we focused um, in the first term on just 35 students. Um, it was a really great opportunity for us to figure out what worked and what didn't. And then once we, once we fixed some of the things that hadn't worked so well in the first term we started to grow the program to 100 students in the next term, 200 students in the third term. So we've been able to continue growing the program. The next one is to work with the community. Um, I think the Arabic Wikipedia community has been really welcoming and encouraging of this program and you know having people like Mohammed who have been long-term editors who are able to, to come in and support the students has been incredibly useful and incredibly helpful. Um, there's a large number of online ambassadors who are spread throughout the Arab world who help the students on a Facebook page whenever they have sort of some of the more technical questions and that's been a key to the success for the students in the program. The third one is to work with language classes. Um, we actually got this idea from Lee Thelmadotter in Mexico who has been doing something similar working with her students who she's teaching English to and she has them take articles from the English Wikipedia <coughs> and translate them into the Spanish Wikipedia as part of their coursework. And so we just sort of copied the idea in Egypt and it's worked very well. Um, you can see that students are able to create you know, significantly longer articles and, and articles of very high quality because they are translating articles that are good or featured in their, um, the language which they're studying. Um, and finally, I would say the, the biggest one is to have fun, right? As we are all volunteers here and you know, the point of this program is to encourage the students to contribute, but we want to make it a fun experience for the students and we want to make it a useful opportunity for all of them to, to learn and grow their skills as well. So we have a lot of um, incredible volunteers from the Arab program who have made this an incredible experience for the students. Any questions? Yes. <laughs> Just a comment. Uh, you say that the goal of the program is to improve the content. Uh, I am agreeing, but also the the goal is to to bring the the know. Yes. And contributing to Wikipedia is also uh, uh, a a way to 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 do that. It, it's not only. Uh, uh, doing the with the, with the education <coughs> program, you are bringing the, the knowledge. Right. Uh, it, the goal it's uh, that the main the main goal is not to improve with being, The main goal is to uh, bring the, uh, the knowledge to everywhere. Yes, <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how many of the participants uh, became the the uh, Wikipedian for, for, for a longer time? Yeah, so so we've, we've looked into some of the retention numbers um, from the program, and what we're seeing is we generally have about a 3 to 4% retention rate in the program. Um, a lot of the students, um, as I was mentioning, a lot of the students end up continuing to volunteer, um, not necessarily in article creation, although I think all three of her, the people in her example <laughs> create a lot of articles, but, but students also stick around who may not have liked necessarily the idea of contributing content, but who still really love Wikipedia and want to help the encyclopedia, and so they will stick around as campus ambassadors, and so you know, they were, are then there to train students how to edit Wikipedia. They've, done, they've gone through the program, they've edited an article themselves, and so they're able to teach other people how to do that 
and in a very effective manner. And so they continue to volunteer for the program without necessarily being, you know, considered a retention number. The program was facultative, yes? It wasn't a part of the, of the obligatory pro university programs. No. They, no. They could, they, okay. I mean, the, some, some of the classes the students received the grades for, you know, an assessment for the, the work that they had done. But, but for most of them, I believe it was an optional assignment. Yeah. I think uh, maybe this is a, I hope you don't take it as a criticism, but rather as, a, as a something which, which I feel a bit that there might be an opportunity we are missing. And mm -hmm. when, when you just, how you, how you describe the project and, and came up from earlier comments too, that the goal is to improve Wikipedia, but the goal could be to improve education through the Wikipedia. And I, I think there might be that we miss an opportunity because in education sector, everybody is talking about 20, 21st century skills, physical media literacy, uh, new ways of doing assignments and, 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 and do you know, able to use sources and all that, which could be done with the Wikipedia assignments. Absolutely. And if, if we would take the approach that we try to improve education with Wikipedia, uh, the assignments could be different too. Like, I, I think in case of, of, of Arabic Wikipedia, uh, the emphasizes could be in a writing about local knowledge, local things in there, and bring them to the Wikipedia, not to translate them. Well, and just to be clear, not all of the classes are translation classes. I think about half of them are, because, yeah. Like, uh, I'll give you a concrete example. Hiranan's featured article in the first installment was actually a, an article written from scratch, because it was about 2011 events in Egypt. So it was something that she did on her own, and she had to collect YouTube videos, uh, credible sources, and she had a lot of hassles because in the talk page for her, for featuring her article, people told her to fix a lot of things. So she had an, a, a steep learning curve for, for her article, yeah. But just bringing that as an example, how we improve the education well, with the Wikipedia to chase. Well, I'll tell you, uh, I can, I can answer yeah. this. So in general, we have a problem for in the Arabic Wikipedia or between the Arabic audience is that we don't know that we can actually edit Wikipedia by default. So whenever we have workshops, what people will tell, uh, what students will tell us is that Oh, I'm happy I, I would know, I started to know that I could edit Wikipedia and actually I could volunteer to do that. Uh, but they, like, they get this icebreaker from us and what is happening is that they continue to, let's say, volunteer and they're actually happy because what we have, we have a problem is that our, usually the assignments that they have in the universities are really boring for them. They don't like it, but when they find that their articles actually come to Wikipedia or their assignments come to Wikipedia and people evaluate it, this becomes, let's say, something that is fulfilling for them. And, and let me let me also grab onto the, that your first question there too. So, so I think one of the interesting things is, as the communications manager for the program, I talk about the program to a lot of, a lot of different audiences. And when I'm talking to Wikimedia community members <coughs> like this, I tend to emphasize its its impact on Wikipedia. But when I'm pitching this to a professor or an academic society or a group of people who are sort of more interested in the student student learning aspects. Then I talk about the media literacy, the writing, the research skills. And we actually have a series of brochures that we've developed aimed at that audience that really talks about how Wikipedia can be a teaching tool for those important modern skills that the, the university students need to have as well. So, so you got my Wikipedia version of this talk, but I have a different version of the talk that's the educator version. Yeah? Uh, what about the, the other Arabic countries? Is this a program only in Egypt or? Uh... So, so we started the pilot in Egypt. Um, we chose Egypt because we had an existing community. It was a fairly you know, large concentration of at least the Arabic Wikipedia community um, was based in Egypt. And so we wanted to get it started where we could have community uh, to be there to actually help the students in person. Um, since then, we've expanded the program to um, Jordan and Algeria this last term. And um, Saudi Arabia is forthcoming <laughs> with us all there. 
Um, and so we're also looking to kind of figure out where other concentrations are and if, if there's active interest from the Arabic Wikipedia community members in other countries, we're certainly open to looking at going in those directions. Um, one of the things we struggle with is we need to, to work within countries where the language of instruction is in Arabic and because the students will be writing on the Arabic Wikipedia and a lot of times we run into cases where the, the higher education students study um, in English or in French um, rather than in Arabic and you know while it's great for them to contribute topics you know medical information to the English Wikipedia we really want to we, we think it's more important to have that information be on the Arabic Wikipedia because we want to see the Arabic Your target is students from universities, or you can uh, get uh, students from high school or. Uh, so so we, we had one class pilot this last term at a high school in, in Egypt. You know, uh, they contributed a good amount of content. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at the content. Um, and the Jordan program is actually focused more on schools. So we have a partnership with the Society of Jordanian Teachers, and they brought one high school teacher from each of the governments in Jordan to Amman and had them trained in how to use Wikipedia as a teaching tool. And so far we haven't seen a lot of content come out of that, but we're looking for sort of ways to maybe improve the training and sort of see if we can facilitate more growth of the school program in Jordan. Yeah. How many students have you had uh, through the Egypt program so far? I think the Egypt program is now 600 students. Probably, yeah, there are Something like that, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, I'm getting the we're over time <laughs> thing. So thank you guys very much.